how to set up a YubiKey security key as a passkey to sign into online accounts, for example, a Google account, which we're going to be demonstrating in this video. Begin by first navigating to google.com. Once you're here, sign into your Google account at the top right hand corner and then click on your Google account profile. Once you've done that, click on manage your Google account. You'll then be in myaccount.google.com and you'll be in your Google accounts homepage. On the left hand side, look for where it says security and click on it. Once it's security, scroll down until you see where it says how you sign into Google. Look for where it says pass keys and security keys. As you can see, currently I have one pass key. You may have none. Click on pass keys and security keys. You'll need to enter your Google account's password. So I'm just going to enter that in now or paste it in and then click on next. This will verify it's you as you're going to be accessing sensitive information regarding pass keys and security keys. So we're going to be creating a pass key. This will give us a second step when signing in with our password on our Google account. You can either click on the blue create a pass key button here or you can click on the clear one here that says create a pass key. I'm going to click on this one. You'll then be greeted with a small notification window which says create a pass key for your Google account. So you can either create a pass key to start signing in with your fingerprint face or screen lock or you can create a pass key on this device or use another device. Of course we're going to be using another device as we're going to be using our YubiKey so click on use another device. If you're using a Windows PC like myself you may see the following notification window by Windows Security. Choose where to save this pass key. So at the top you have the iPhone, iPad or Android device option. You've also got more choices, but we're rolling with the security key option for our YubiKey. So click on that and then click on next. Security key setup. Set up your security key to sign into your Google account as and then your email address. This request comes from the app chrome.exe by Google LLC as I'm using Google Chrome. So it's just telling me what I'm using to set up my security key. So I'm going to click on OK. Continue setup. This will let Google.com see the make and model of your security key. Google wants to create a credential on your security key. Click on OK. Now I'm being prompted to insert my security key into the USB port of my Windows PC. So I'm just going to do that now. OK, I've done that. And now under continue setup, it says new security key pin and I'll need to confirm the security key pin. Here you'll need to enter a pin for your YubiKey FIDO2 pin or FIDO2 pin. Because this is a brand new YubiKey from the factory, it doesn't have a FIDO2 pin set. If you're being prompted to enter a pin that you don't know, then you'll need to reset your FIDO2 pin using the YubiKey manager app or the YubiCo authentication app. I have a video on how to reset your FIDO2 pin for your YubiKey. I'll put that video in the video description below and as a card at the top right hand corner of this video. Now if you're being prompted for a new security key pin it means that your YubiKey does not have a FIDO2 pin set which is good you can set one now and you don't need to use the YubiKey manager app or the YubiCo authentication app. So I'm just going to enter a pin now and then I'm going to confirm that pin and then I'm going to click on OK. And finally, I'm being prompted to touch my security key. And there we go, my pass key has been saved. I can now use my security key to sign into google.com and my Google account. So all that's left to do now is to click on OK. And there we go, pass key created on your security key. You can now use your pass key on the security key to verify it's you. Click on done. And then if you scroll down, you can see under pass keys and under where it says your security keys, you can see your security key has now been added to your Google account. To change the name to make it more recognizable, just click on the pencil icon icon next to it and give your pass key or your YubiKey security key a name. So I'm going to call it YubiKey-1. As this is the first YubiKey I'm going to be adding to my account and then I'm going to click on save. It is highly recommended if you're securing your online accounts to add multiple YubiKeys to your account as when you lose one YubiKey you have another as backup. For me as an owner of a YouTube channel I personally feel safe when I have at least two however I recommend at least three. So if you would like to pick up another YubiKey or two more to secure your online accounts I put my Amazon Associates affiliate links to YubiCo's YubiKey store page in the video description below. If you purchase a YubiKey using my referral link, I'll get a small commission on that and you'll be helping this channel out. So if we look at the bottom here, you can see for our YubiKey one that it hasn't been used yet. And that is because we haven't signed out of our Google account. But when we do sign out of our Google account and sign back in, you'll be prompted to insert your YubiKey, enter your FIDO2 pin, and then touch your YubiKey to sign in. Of course, you're prompted to use your security key after entering in your Google account's password. It's just an extra layer of security, which really helps with peace of mind. Okay, so that pretty much concludes this video on how to set up a YubiKey security key as a passkey to sign into online accounts, for example, your Google account. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so